NASA may have to wait a little longer for its leap into the outer space as it aims for Moon, Mars and beyond. This out of the giant rocket experienced yet another glitch, the second cancellation in five days. The U.S. Space Agency has to wait even longer to launch the SLS rocket into space as part of its ambitious Artemis I mission. Remember, five days ago, the scheduled launch was cancelled due to a technical glitch. And for a second time in a week, a red flag has been raised. This time, the launch of the 30-story rocket has been postponed due to a leaking fuel which was detected by NASA's engineers. Now, according to NASA, a leak near the base of the rocket was found as ultra-cold liquid hydrogen was being pumped in. As of now, no new date for the possible launch has been declared by the U.S. Space Agency. The mission dubbed as Artemis I marks the first voyage for both the Space Launch System rocket and the Orion capsule. The objective of this mission is to go around the moon and back on a 38-day planned schedule. Moreover, the unmanned flight will put both its new rocket and capsule system through their spaces. This first test flight, Artemis 1, it, it's a test flight of the Orion spacecraft and the launch vehicle. Before we put crew on them, we want to make sure they work. And one of the things we want to do is we want to make sure that the Orion spacecraft uh, can support a crew of four for 21 days. So uh, originally we were looking at a 42-day mission. With this new launch day, we're looking at 39 days, which is well beyond the 21-day design uh, operation for the Orion spacecraft. So that's going to be a stress on the system. Whenever the launch will be successful, it will be the first rocket launch in the direction of the moon, something that hasn't happened since Project Apollo ended in 1972. Moreover, Artemis II will take forward the Artemis program, where NASA is aiming to land astronauts on the moon as early as 2025. The astronauts will include the first woman and the first person of color who will walk on the surface of the moon. Although the mission does not end here, taking humans back to the moon is only the first key to the puzzle. The aim is to understand the geography and terrain of the moon so that a station can be set up there from where the, in the coming future the possibility to put humans on Mars and other planets can become a reality. The difference between Artemis and Apollo is that, you know, Apollo uh, went to the moon and those were two or three day missions, you know, on the uh, lunar surface. We want to go back in a sustainable way. Uh, we want to plan to live on the moon, to utilize its resources, and learn what we need to know to eventually go on to Mars. For now, there are no humans on board the spaceship, though there are mannequins equipped with sensors standing in for astronauts on the mission. The sensors will record acceleration, vibration, and radiation levels. The trip is expected to last around six weeks, and one of its main objectives is to test the capsule's heat shield which at 16 feet in diameter is the largest ever built. The purpose of the Artemis I mission is also to verify that the Orion capsule, which sits atop the SLS rocket, is safe to carry astronauts in the future. Apart from exploring the unknown, one of the reasons for the multi-billion dollar launch is geopolitics. It's not just NASA that wants to go to the moon. In recent years, India, China, Israel, they've all tried sending robotic missions on the moon. A South Korean orbiter is also on its way. So NASA wants to stay ahead of the curve, be the first to establish exclusive zones and eventually dictate rules of conduct. But for all of NASA's plans and efforts, Artemis 1 just will not take off. The original launch was scheduled in December 2016. 16 attempts and six years later, NASA is still struggling with technical issues. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.